welcome back to another vlog. I don't know if I will have already spoken to you or not. Um, as in, I haven't picked up the camera to vlog, but I filmed loads this morning and I'm humming and hiring whether to um, do a voiceover. Oh, God, I need nose. Whether to do a voiceover of what I was doing or whether to just put some music over it. Who knows? I mean, you'll know by now because you'll already seen that part of the video. Hello, Bobby. Um, but I thought today I would film um, a kind of day in the life, summer routine of, um, of me, of a groom. Um, and today is quite a nice day because um, it's a fairly um, standard day. We haven't got anything um, different going on. So I've just done the yards this morning. Um, at the moment, all of our horses are out at night, in in the day, um, except for Benson, um, who is suffering from a bit of dermatitis. So he can only go out. Um, when it's dry, so I've just popped him out, which I forgot to film. And then um, Jess and Alfie, the two you'd have seen me feed, I can't remember if I've mentioned this before, but they live out all the time. Um, but other than that, everybody is in for the day. Bobby's the only one with his head out. Um, but yards are done, and I am now going to ride ID. I don't have anyone to film, so um, there won't be any ID riding footage in this vlog. And then um, I'm gonna go home for some lunch. And then this afternoon, Abby and I are taking um, Romeo and Bobby packing. But we're gonna go, um, we're gonna box up and I found a new venue to try. Um, so we're gonna go and suss it out. And then if it's any good, um, we can take the girls there. But I just like to um, go and suss these places out first before we take the kids and um, see how the horses behave and you know, just check it's all safe and everything. Um, and the family have been away for two weeks, so um, the ponies do need to go and have a good hack and a good canter because um, they've still been working, but they've not been to any cross-country events or anything like that, so they could do with going for a good canter. And we've had loads of rain, so the ground should be perfect. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get on and ride Ida. You better not be in that hay net again, Schnitzel. Keeps trying to jump on that stack of hay nets, making a mess on my yard. Um, anyway, right, I'm going to get on ID now, um, just going to give him a quick flat school and then um, head home, grab some lunch and then come back, sort the lorry and go. So, I don't know if it's because I'm imagining anything, imagining things. I obviously look at ID every day, but I definitely think he's starting to fill out compared to when I first showed him on the vlog. Obviously, he still needs to build up his muscle behind. That's going to take a long time. That's not going to fix in a month. But I definitely feel like he's starting to um, build up some muscle behind his shoulder here. Um, I don't know. You guys have to let me know. Does he look better or have I just imagined it? I definitely think... I'm looking at the camera screen and him in front of me. I think he looks better. I mean, we've still got a long way to go, but I definitely think he looks better. Don't you, Heidi? He is also the most cuddliest horse in the world, aren't you? Me? I was just brushing his forelock for ages. I was thinking, oh, I should have set off a time lapse, but I didn't. But he is like the biggest softy. Like he likes having his ears touched. I've, he is a giant Labrador, basically, aren't you? You're a Labrador. <laughs> right, let's put some tack on or I'm going to be late for the rest of my day. Good afternoon. We are out hacking. We've just started. We got up to the... Yeah, we had to drive right to the top of the drive and then turn right. Then I get to the top and I get to Abby, turn left. And we get, I don't know, 100 yards down the road. And I'm like, I'm sure I don't think we've gone the right way. So we've now turned around and we're going back again. Um, so the little place we've come to is um, you just pay kind of to park your horse box. And then there's loads of maps and routes and things. Um, so we've picked a route. Who knows what we're going to come up to, but we'll give it a go. I'm on Romeo and Abby's on Asbo Pony. Although... Romeo's the one that had you off, isn't it? She fell off Romeo That's hacking him. It's on the vlog now. Oh, Everyone's no. gonna know. All the haters are gonna know Abby fell off Romeo. Oh, no. 
Let's hope we can both stay in the saddle today. <laughs> to take an hour and a half we're already lost second time going wrong. for the second time so bets in how long do you think it's going to take us a solid two hours i don't know we are putting down some miles we've got some speed going we've got some speed i was just canter pirouetting because i couldn't stop um we'll see Romy is very excited We're lost round three. <laughs> We've gone up and down so many places. I've looked at Google Maps. I've looked at the map that people gave us. And the only way I figured it out is by going on the, the bridal path on map. the bridal path map. I think it's amazing. And then figuring it out from there. So we're now turning around going back for the third time. Hopefully my phone will have enough charge and we'll pick up the right bridal way home. Good afternoon. Um, it's the next day. Um, I think the last thing I filmed was Abby and I hacking and then my phone died and we were all rushing to get the yard done. So I didn't actually film the rest of my day. So it's still a day in the life. Um, what are you doing, darling? Oh, sorry. Um, it's still a day in the life. It's just, I'm filming the next day's afternoon, if that makes sense. But this morning was pretty much identical to what I filmed yesterday morning. Uh, anyway, we're going back to the yard. Um, I've got quite a busy afternoon. I need to rag all the fields, um, move the electric fencing, put up some new electric fencing. I've got all the tack to clean, um, Bobby to ride and evening yards. Um, but Abby is coming into work this afternoon and Edward's gonna help, so there'll be three of us. Um, but I will film so you guys can see what an afternoon with me looks like. Good afternoon, ID. Good afternoon. <laughs> oh, you are a funny boy. Shall I bring you some more hay? Edward's my um, assistant groom this afternoon. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> he's filling up the hay steamer. Um, I've just given everyone um, their kind of lunchtime afternoon hay nets. They're all happy now. Um, and then I'm going to quickly put the steamer on ready for tonight. Oh, yeah, it's a bit easier with the funnel. Um, put the steamer on for tonight um, for the hay for Benson, who's out in the field at the moment, and then get ahead for tomorrow. Oh, Bobina, you're very tired. <laughs> So I had a comment on one of my last vlogs that asked me um, about what I feed our horses. Um, so I thought this would be quite a good vlog just to include it and it's really, really simple. Um, so I will flip you around so you can see the tack room. I just said tack room, but I meant feed room. Um, our feed room is home to, you can't see them, a lot of swallows that are back on their summer migration, I guess it's called. So hence why there's no bin there at the moment, because otherwise they just poo on it um, and all the bins are spread out. Um, and I've got the bowls out ready um, to make evening feeds. So yeah, this is our feed room. I mean, it's really basic feed bins. I've got to empty that into there. Some drawers, supplements, spare feed, and then a feed board, um, just so if I'm ever not here, Everyone knows what all the horses have, um, and they literally have the most basic feed, as you can probably see from that. Um, all of mine are fed Alpha A oil, um, and then, here comes Abby. Hello Abby, welcome to the vlog. Hello. I'm just filming what I feed, feed our horses. Oh, very, nice. very exciting. I'll come back to you in a minute, guys. Right, I'm back, where was I? So yeah, all of our horses um, have Alpha A oil. Um, and then at the moment, because we've got tons and tons of grass, they are literally just having chaff and balancer. So all the ponies, um, everyone except Romeo has this balancer here, which is the Saracen's essential balancer. My boyfriend, I'm trying to vlog and he's got the quad out and now he's, are you finished now? <laughs> Can't get stuff these days. 
Right, third time. So, yeah, they're all fed at the moment, chaff and balancer, because um, we have tons of grass and um, they're all holding their weight really good. So everyone except Romeo has the Saracen's Essential Balancer. And then Romeo has the Competition Balancer. Um, and then IED, at the moment, because he needs to put on condition, has Relieve Cubes. Um, so that is basically our core feed. I can show you on the board here. So for example, Romeo has half a scoop of Alpha A twice a day, and then he has this balancer in the morning. And then supplements wise, um, it's really straightforward. Everything that's in like hard work is fed electrolytes all the time in the summer. Um, and then Romeo and Benson are also on a joint supplement. Um, and then just Jess is on Buteless, um, which she has in a red bucket, which is out in the field at the moment. But she has that in a red bucket because it is here and it's prohibited. Um, so it would be really bad if this got into Romeo's feed when he's out affiliated. So she has that in a separate bucket. Um, and then, yeah, it's just ID and Alfie who are on relief um, because they both need to put on a bit of condition. And then we have all the supplements. It's a bit messy because I've just bought some new bandages that I need to put away. Um, they're all just fed Dodson and Horrell performance electrolytes. Um, same in that smaller one. And then I've just bought a new one. Because this isn't me run out. But this is a joint supplement we give them. Really basic, nothing fancy. Just glucosamine and MSM. Um, yeah. That is what they're fed. So I'm just going to make feeds now. And even feeds are really boring because everything just basically has chaff and electrolytes. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, my feeding routine isn't very bougie, but I am a big believer in keeping it simple. Um, they don't need tons of fancy feeds. Um, we do in there have some enduro, which is like the next step up from relief. Um, there you go. But that is just for Romeo if he ever needs a bit of a boost, if you find he starts struggling with the fast work, um, that goes in there. But anyway, that is feeds. I am going to just quickly make these up. Everybody is fed. You can see Abby in the background there. She's just um, schooling Bobby. Um, and Edward and I, he's back there with Heidi, are just turning out those that are going out for the night. Um, See, everything's been fed they've all got their fly gear on romeo doesn't wear a fly mask because he pulls it off within 30 seconds id doesn't wear a fly rug because they rub him and he's got thin thoroughbred skin um and then i need to lift all the stables up we leave them up overnight to air um put some more hay on for tomorrow benson's on the walker i need to bandage his leg where he's got dermatitis and then we have a lot of tap to clean 
tables for me. Darling? Yes. Are you grumpy? Yes. Why? <laughs> you love it really. Mm -hmm. All your fans. Yeah. Hello, Nitzel. There is something so satisfying about every single bridle and saddle being sparkly clean. Tack cleaning is done. Um, we blitzed it between the three of us. Um, yeah, otherwise it would be an absolutely mammoth task. I don't usually do everything in one day. I usually spread it out throughout the week, um, but things have been a little bit different this week, um, obviously with the family being away. Um, so I just wanted everything clean, um, ready for tomorrow, which is Monday, fresh start. All the saddles are clean, all the bridles are clean. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the yard's done, horses are out, beds are up, Benson's sorted, got his bandage on. So that is pretty much the end of my day. I think it's just coming up for seven o'clock in the evening. Um, so yeah, not too much of a late one today either. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. It feels like a bit of a weird disjointed one for me, but hopefully when I edit it, it will come together and people will find it interesting um but yeah from next week so this week coming i'll film like another weekly style weekly vlog style video um so we have quite a lot going on we've got pony club champs this week uh and yeah anyway hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know down below um and i will see you in another video soon bye